Okay, in this video, we're going to do another example of loops, and we're going to delete some blank rows. So say we're given some data that looks like this. Um, let's say we have some expenses here, and there's some numbers here, but then there's some blank, blank rows here, some blank data. And what we want to do is basically uh, select the row and delete it. We want to delete the row. So how can we do that? in VBA so that we can delete blank rows. Well, it's pretty straightforward. Um, let's go into our loops module here and I'll go up to the top. I'm gonna write a subroutine, subroutine sub delete blank rows. And again, I'm gonna need um, a couple variables. The first variable I'm going to need is one to hold the, val the row number of the last row. So I'll do dim last row as uh, long. And then I'm going to need a variable to hold the row number. So I'm just going to do x row as long. And I'm going to set x row equal to one. And then I want to find the last row of data. So basically, looking at this data, I want to find this row. And how do we do that um, in, a, in a very easy way? Well, we have uh, some things that are provided to us by Microsoft, and we can take a look at that right now. So we can set our last row variable equal to this range A you know, uh, 95,000 dot. So what I want to do is I want to go down, I want to start in cell A95,000, which is column one here, column A, and row 95,000. And I want to go up until I get to um, a cell with data in it and this will do it there's a there's a subroutine um, <clears throat> called end and it takes a parameter and you can see the parameter is the direction and so here's the directions you could put in you could go up you could go right you can go left and you could go down although you can't see the down one what I want to do is go up and what that'll do, I could then, uh, because this is this ends up being like a range object, I can use the dot operator, and I could access the row of whatever cell I end up getting into, I end up reaching. So th what, what's going on here is I, I wrote that line of code, but what it does is it begins in cell A95,000 and it goes directly up and why does it go up? It goes up because I passed in XL up. It goes up until it finds a cell with data in it and then th this time it'll find this cell and I want to get the row. I want to get 13 so I do dot row here and it'll return 13. So um, this finds last cell in column A with data in it. I'll just put data. And if I just run this, it says down here last row is equal to 13 and you could see that last row is 13. If I put a data here, I, last row should be 16 and if I uh, step through and then run it again last row is 16 so it's working and it works because of this so this is very powerful you want to remember this because the thing this allows you to do is um, find the last row of data real quickly without using loops and not have to worry about these blanks in here because if you use a, if you use a loop let's say you use a loop and a loop and start it here and started moving down and say, I want to find the last row. Well, you might have stopped there because you you encountered a blank row. Or you might have, you know, 
then what do you do because there's data down here and then there's three blank rows so it could be completely random you really have to start from the bottom and move up to find the last row and that's what this allows you to do the only thing you have to be beware of is that whatever cell you're starting from has to be below the data that you're getting and you could put in very large numbers here like nine nine hundred and fifty thousand you know you could put in that huge number so it almost goes to the bottom of the worksheet and you'll still get an answer there's a million rows in Excel so you could go all the way down to let's see nine 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 hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine if you run it you'll still get 16 so it's starting at the very last row actually I, don't, I think if you put in a million you might get an error let's see a one million No, you don't. You get 16. So this accounts for 1 million rows of data, and you'll, you could go up and you could find the last row of data. Okay, cool. Now that we have that, now we need to write a loop that will delete blank rows, and that's real easy now. Do We're going to do a do until loop. Do until x row is equal to last row, and that'll loop from the top all the way to the bottom, 16. And what we want to do is if cells x row comma one dot value is equal to blank, then I didn't need this parentheses here. Then what you want to do is cells x row comma one dot select and then selection dot entire row dot delete and then you want to end if oh actually you don't want to end if yet you want to set x row equal to x row minus one and last row is equal to last row minus one and then outside here you want to increment x row x row is equal to x row plus one so so notice what's happening here um, this do until loop is not too strange except for this if statement and that's what we'll go over right now um, so what are we doing here We set x row equal to 1 right there. So x row is going to start here in row 1. And we find last row, which is going to be 16. We know how, we, how to do that using this. And then we have a loop that is going to loop uh, until x row is going to equal last row. And how do we increment the loop? Well, we increment the loop right here. Just we're going from x row equal to 1 to x row equal to 16 and in between we have some code and here's our code it's an if statement and the if statement says cells x row dot value is equal to blank if if that if cells dot x row cells I'm sorry if cells you know x row comma one dot value is equal to blank then do something and what that's doing is going to check it's going to check if this is equal to blank, then it's going to do something. If this is equal to blank, then it's going to do, do something. So it'll get to here as we loop down, and it'll check. It'll say, is this value equal to blank? And it'll be yes. And then we're going to step into this code here. And we're going to select the cell that we're in, like this, this code here. And then we're going to delete the row. So this, these two lines, select a cell and delete a row. You need to have them. Um, because this entire row dot delete is performed on this selection object. So you need to select something first before you can get to that selection object to use the entire row dot delete. Uh, use the entire row dot delete code. Once you have that, once you once you delete the row, you need to um, essentially what you're doing watch this if I delete this row 
Notice that down here, 55 is in row 16. But if I delete this row, like this, now 55, because I deleted that row, is in, is in the last row, becomes 15 instead of 16. So that's why down here, if you delete a row, you need to make the last row equal to the last row minus 1. And similarly, you need to make x row equal to x row minus 1. Because when you delete a row, you're sort of change. You, you are changing. You are changing the structure of the worksheet, and you need to reflect that with your row variables. So that's why you do this. You do these two rows because of what we just saw. If you delete a row, the 55 went from row 16 to 55 to 16 to 15. So let's let's step through this and see how this works. Uh, oops. I didn't put a loop there. So that was an error. Let me just show you that error again. It says compile error do without loop. And why does it say that? It's because I have a do statement here, right there, but I don't have a ending loop statement. And you need that. So that's a good error that you should uh, be aware of. And I'll just put this uh, because you deleted a row. So you do these two lines because you deleted a row. Okay, so now if we step through, let me minimize this over here. X row is equal to one, last row is gonna be equal to 15 here. And then I'm just gonna put a breakpoint and run this. And actually I'll put a breakpoint here. So I'm just running this, and, and you can see that x row is equal to 6 now. I want to get to the if statement part. So now, now it, it evaluated this statement, cells x row 7 is the x row. So here's x row 7, row 7, column 1. If that is blank, which it is, now I'm going to do something. So I'm going to select it. And there you go, I selected it. Now I'm going to delete this entire row, row 7. So I do it again. I step into, and there it was deleted. And now I change x row to x row minus 1. I set x row equal to itself minus 1. So before it was equal to 7. Now I set it back to 6. So I go here, set it back to 6. And last row was 15 before. But since I deleted it, the last row moved up to 14. So I set last row equals to last row minus 1. And now I can increment the row variable, and I can continue the loop. And if I take this off, watch all these rows are going to be deleted. These two rows here will be deleted, that row, and these two rows. So if I run it, all those rows were deleted. So now you know how to uh, delete blank rows. And you could do the same thing with columns. If you change, if you put a row in here and a, and a variable in here like x call. And then you could do entire column dot delete. Uh, you could do the same thing. So that's all this video wanted to show you. The most important two lines are these lines here. Uh, because let me show you what happens if you just comment these out. If I insert like two lines here and I run this, it only deleted one of them because when it deleted it, I didn't subtract one from the X row. So it didn't. It wasn't able. To, it wasn't. In, it wasn't at the place, the right place on the worksheet. And to get to the right place on the worksheet, you need to have the x row is equal to x row minus one. So keep that in mind. And we saw why that, why that is necessary. So now I just run it again, and it deleted it. So there you go. Now you know how to delete blank rows. Another very useful thing is this here. So keep this in mind as well. This is how you would start at a cell in a column, and find the first row with data in it. And if you didn't want to find the row, 
you could do dot select if you want to get if you want to select that cell you could do dot column if you want to see what column it's in um, you could do XL right if you want to go right or X XL left or XL down etc and you just have to put in what cell you're starting in so that's it for this video and um, in the next in the next video we will uh, look at four next loops.